Welcome, welcome, Pisces. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see a sneak peek of what's in store for November 1st to November 15th, 2018. Your cards were pre shuffled. Let's see what your past wants you to know that you can use in the present. Pisces, masculine, feminine, you are wise. Keep you, your people, or even people of high regards, see you as very wise. That your life experience is golden in their eyes. Your life experience, the things that you have experienced in your individual life is wisdom that can help you in winning anything that you are facing in regards to moving forward. Use your life experience. Look back at your life experience because people come to you all the time for them. They even use your life experience to move ahead in their lives. Why don't you use your life experience? Really look at it, celebrate it, and see how you can have that be a winning beacon for you. Your past life wants you to know that you have always been the movers and shakers. You have always not just kept your own knowledge of who you are, but you have shared it in every community and abroad. Your wisdom is needed in many places. Your knowledge of crisis, your knowledge of love, your knowledge of inner and outer respect, your knowledge of how to be strong for yourself, your knowledge of how to be humorous in a times of hardship is needed right now through you. We're looking for you to teach us how to be how to simply be and to love that aspect. You have always used transportation, Mr. and Miss Pisces, in bringing that childhood zest for life out of you, for being energetic. You are the sailors of the seas. If you don't have a boat, now you have a train. If you don't have a train, then you will have a plane. If you don't have a plane, then you will have a car. If you don't have a car, then you will have a carriage. If you don't have a carriage, then you will get a motorcycle. Anything to get you to move from one place to another. Now is the time to do that in the first of November to the 15th. Even a bus. Your wisdom and the reason how transportation is a really good tool, your life experience and using transportation to not only spread that life experience around to others that might need it or as a service, that could be a service. It also gives you an understanding that people see you as medicine. They see you as that natural healer. And like all natural healers, there's nothing wrong with traveling to heal others. If you're interested in Reiki, meditation, sage um, practices, um, interpreting dreams, uh, hypnosis, anything that connects you to yourself spiritually, you will be bringing out as a practice or as a way of living. You'll be using this medicine man and medicine woman of yourself to yourself. Be your own medicine. You have been a medicine, Mr. and Ms. Pisces, for so many people. If you was to actually go to the ones that you have recently helped through your own life lessons, find out how did they use it you will see that using your own medicine will help you move forward. The actions you will be embarking and embracing is your own 
Mr. and Miss Pisces, Queen of Fire. You're becoming confident, more warm, more intelligent, showing your intelligence and showing that your intelligence, yes, can be intimidating at moments, but very graceful and very inviting. Stretch your wings and fly. Do not underestimate who you are. Assert your independence and creativity in every way possible. Even if that requires you to stumble, that stumbling will give you that next step to know how to create your next move. A warrior or soldier or a team player cannot announce themselves as those if they do not get scarred. So it's all right making mistakes and getting dirty. How do you clean yourself when you get dirty? How do you patch yourself up when you get scarred? It's the very thing that people see as truly your independence and your creativity because there's many ways to heal your wound. It's many ways to show who you are. Masculine and feminine Pisces, male, woman, man, you are going to start planting or seeing that the seeds that you have been planting, those seven seeds of yourself, those core values of who you are, that you invest in whether you realize it or not, your actions, your passion, your independence, your individuality, when it is shown, reveals that you have planted the seeds. The groundedness in which you demonstrate how you want to be stable shows that seed. How you move forward and becoming that mover and shaker is shown in those seeds. And the plantings require you to take pause and really look at what you have planted. What are the seeds that you planted? Each seed is not the same seed. Some seeds might be or might be a hybrid or a new seed in itself. Now is the time to look at those seeds that you have planted and remind yourself, what are those seeds that I did plant? And how are they growing? And what was those steps that I did take to make them grow where they're at right now? And moving to the next stage of it. So those unnecessary worries will become worthy of gains instead. Mr. and Ms. Pisces, you are the sun. You are becoming that star. People see you as a star, but now you're seeing yourself as that star and that sun within. And you're shining even more brightly. Again, you have the Aries, which is all about individuality of who you are. What makes you an individuality? What makes you an individual, Mr. and Ms. Pisces? And what has given you the fire passion within you to move forward because when you move forward, you're going to become that Sagittarius. You're going to become that warrior for yourself. And the happy outcome will become you. And you will be that brilliant new idea, that lead of success. And you will have that confidence to move, move forward and to see yourself even more as the sun. And see that even the sun knows that it can get burnt. But it also knows how to soothe it as well. I love you. I love you, Mr. and Ms. Pisces. Show the star and the sun within you. Bring it out. Bring it out. We will see you on the other side.